Hi everyone, this is Lynn with Prometheus Automotive, and today I'm going to show you how to repair a wire, broken wire. So stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. All right, got a couple wires here that I'm going to use to represent a broken wire on your car. And this is the this is the current best repair that the auto manufacturers want us to be using. This is a butt connector, um, but this has a built-in um, weather protection. So it's basically a heat shrink on the ends here that uh, seal out moisture. So this is what they want us to use. The old, uh, the older uh, repair type of repairs would be more like. If you were to take the ends of the wire, strip them so that the conductors are exposed, and then wrap them around each other, and then you'd solder this connection, and then put heat shrink around that. And that's a good repair. You can still do that. But the reason why auto manufacturers want us to be using these, these uh, weather-protected butt connectors is because the solder joint is more likely to crack it, it makes it more brittle, um, so they don't want that. They want this to be more flexible. So I'm going to show you how to do this, use this type of connector. So we've got our broken end of the wire. If, it's, if the, the uh, exposed conductors are corroded or, or broken, you want to cut it down to a nice clean end. And then you want to strip off. You want to strip off the this amount of the insulation to expose the copper wires um, about this much to fit inside the butt connector. This is just a pair of diagonal flush cut pliers. So you can also use a wire stripper pliers or whatever you have. You just want to make sure that you don't cut off the, any of the uh, wires that are inside. Then give it a little twist just to uh, keep them all together so that they'll go into the butt connector nicely. And then I'm going to check to see if I have the right length here. I want the insulation to go right up to the end of it. So that looks pretty good. It's going to try to get it right in the middle there. And then you slide it into the metal part of the butt connector. You want the insulation to go right up to the end. And then you'll grab uh, some crimpers. These are from Pine Tools. I'll put a link in the description to the tools and the, that I use for this. Um, th these crimpers have different uh, jaw sizes for red, blue, and yellow. Red is the smallest. That's the one you're going to use most on cars because uh, Car wires, uh, most of them can be pretty small because they are only concerned with sending voltages, like for sensors and computer wires. Um, don't really need a lot of current for that, so they can be small, 16, 18, 20 gauge even. So you're going to want to put this right into the jaws of the crimpers on the side that you have the wire inserted into. Put it in there. And then squeeze. I'm going to... I'm going to hold this wire to make sure it's pushed all the way in. And squeeze it. These you squeeze until it's squeezed all the way and then it will release. It's a ratcheting mechanism, but it won't let go until you've squeezed it all the way. And then give it a tug. Make sure that's not going to come out. It's a good crimp. And do the same thing with the other end of the broken wire. Strip it back about the same amount. Give it a little twist. That looks about right, about halfway. I'm going to keep it in there. Put it right in the jaws. And 
give it a tug. Make sure that's not going to come out. I think we've got a good crimp here. And then in order to shrink these, the ends of these to make the weather seal, we're going to use a heat gun. You can also use a, like a lighter. Um, that doesn't heat very evenly, and it can, it's easy to overheat the wires, and it leaves soot marks on this connector. So if you have a small heat gun that can... I know it's a little awkward when you're actually working on a car. It's hard to get tools in there to do this right. But a small heat gun uh, would be great for this. I've got a heat gun right here I'm going to show you. I want to try to heat this evenly. Looks like the ends are pretty well sealed. So no water is going to be able to get in there. I'd say this is a pretty good repair. All right. Well, in conclusion, uh, with a few tools and a little know-how, you can repair a broken wire and be confident that will last for a long time. Thanks for watching, and if you like the video, please subscribe and click the like button so that we can keep making more videos to help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye.